But the enemy will come in the sneaky way, in a nice way. Come on, let's have fun. Let's go out. Enjoy it. You only live once. You know, nothing is wrong with it. Look at it. Everybody's doing it. So what are you, the odd one? Are you the black sheep? You just need to go with the flow, brother. Go with the flow. And bit of a... Mm. <laughs> and I just like, you know, the good old black American. You know, I love them, the way they talk and the way they walk. What's up, bro? What's up? So I need to go with the flow, bro. But it's not going with the flow. You need to go with Christ. Not with any flow. Because the flow of the world will get you low. And when you go low, there is a very big possibility you cannot come back from that low estate. So have fun. I was innocent when I left home. After a year, I am the master of all trades now. Talk to me about drugs. I can tell you all the types of drugs. Talk to me about places, those little alleys, those hidden places underground. I can tell you all about them. I've been there, done it. But before I was innocent in my room, drinking orange juice. Now, I don't know what we're drinking. <laughs> Soft drinking. But when you hold on, the enemy will come and attack in a nasty way. People will despise you, will go against me, and will cast me out. The enemy is ugly. I don't know why I'm focusing on this. Maybe we need to hear it. We need to hear it. Hollywood is from the enemy. Illuminati is from the enemy. Freemasonry is from the enemy. If you're a member, you're denying Christ. You need to be careful. It may look uh, absolutely okay at the surface level, but beneath it I can assure you it's not. It has infiltrated even the church. At the highest level, it has been infiltrated. That's why 2020 was, to somewhat degree, a success for those evildoers. When you're seeking the Lord Jesus, then what have you got to lose? This life? It's the Lord's. If I live, I live for Christ. And if I die, I die for Christ. Whether I live or, or die, I am all for Christ. I'm all for Him. St. Paul says, in fact, for the believer, death is a gain, not a loss. Because death becomes that vehicle that transports me to the love of my life. So welcome death. Because through death, I'm finally going to see my sweetheart, my savior, face to face, no longer the maze, no longer looking through a mirror. No, I will see him with no more limits, boundaries, face to face, I will look at him. I'll see, look at him in the eyes, and he will look at me in my eyes and say, you cheeky little boy, finally you made it. <laughs> Be careful, my beloveds. Be careful of the enemy and the enemy's deceptions. Don't go where Christ disapproves of. Do not go there.